So today I want to have a look at two ways of doing MFT holes. One is to use a router jig and the other is to use a set of rulers and some jigs to help you drill, um, drill the holes. In this case, uh, with the rulers, these are homemade devices that I've made, essentially just using uh, a drill press to make most of this stuff up. Um, so we're going to compare which is the more accurate and do either of them uh, do a good job in designing a, an MFT style table with 20 millimeter holes. Okay, so we've got our parts together now for um, starting the holes. Uh, this is using um, the homemade kit uh, to utilise these rulers at, um, that have holes at 96 spacings. And here are all the components. So we need two rulers. So the two rulers are set up at uh, 96 spacings. Um, we made the jigs, which uh, I, um, was in another video on, on how to do this. Um, but there's two jigs, one with 20 millimetre uh, holes and the other one with 3 millimetre holes. Within um, the co combined uh, group of parts, we also need um, some alignment pins. These are the pins that we're going to use for that. These are just um, uh, rivets that have mandrels that are, are three millimetres in diameter. Um, something to align the drill bit uh, with. We need a three millimetre uh, drill bit and uh, ultimately for drilling the holes, uh, a 20 millimetre uh, Forstner bit.
Now the usefulness of this jig has um, run out uh, because we can no longer locate enough of the pins to get to the holes that we want to get to. Um, and this is where the second jig uh, comes into play now. So I'll just remove uh, this. I'll show you how it goes. Same, um, same idea. This just uh, goes in here. This one's a bit of a tighter fit actually, which is good. Just locate it over a hole. The bench dogs, one in one end, the other in the other. Now we've got a secure footing. And off we go. So the job's now complete. So how did the DIY path guide alternative work out? I think in the end uh, I was really really impressed with how accurate these holes were and um, the precision of the grid. If you, um, I've had several goes at trying to do this with a DIY solution and found um, a lot of challenge in trying to get the rulers accurately done. In this case um, I did get these uh, particular rulers uh, done by a machinist um, that had a, a much higher accuracy uh, I think it was 0 0.01 of a millimetre that they could do with their computer controlled jig as opposed to me doing it at home on my um, drill press but that made all the difference um, using that then uh, making the jigs up at home um, they seem to work uh, really well and it's quite impressive uh, how well uh, the holes are, 
are lined up. I, I was very surprised at the accuracy I got. Up. I've put um, a square all around these and am getting really, really good um, results from what I've been able to do. On the flip side, what I, I didn't particularly like um, about how these holes came out was um, the forcing a bit is tungsten carbide tipped and after the first few holes I accidentally dropped it on the ground uh, on the concrete ground here and chipped one of the teeth um, off the um, the forcing a bit the result of that was luckily it didn't affect the size of the hole but it made the holes look a bit messier they're not as clean as they should be um, and there's a bit of tear out uh, which uh, just progressively got worse as I, I worked through this um, number of holes. But outside of that, um, the positions of the holes um, and the tolerance uh, to the holes, it, it's really, really good. So I guess the next stage from here, um, I am going to try using another solution. I've got another table that I want to um, uh, do some more holes on and I want to use a, a router jig uh, for that. So this is the particular router jig that I want to use. Um, uh, this is something that you can buy uh, locally here in Australia. They're quite cheap so I thought, well, let's give this a go and we'll see whether we can um, get an impressive sort of result like we did with the, uh, the homemade uh, path guide alternative. 